no, your eyes are not deceiving you. It is grey, you know, intensely grey. And as anyone who listened to the seriously emotional episode will know, that I suffer from grey skyophobia. Well, so from time to time, I've got to talk about grey. And at the moment in uh, Amsterdam in January, what you have is this incessant grey. And I think it's because the sun is far away and the clouds just, you know, they can just do what they want. There's less control. I mean, were I a cloud and I could hang around uh, in January, I'd definitely uh, abuse the fact that the sun's power is so weak. Anyway, so we've got all this grey and here I am. I've got to live in this grey. And you know there's this idea in which they say you should embrace your fears. You know, the things that you don't like, face them, embrace them, and they shrink. And to an extent, you know, that could be true. It could be true. However, I do have uh, some questions because something like a grizzly bear, I'll just be honest, if I see a grizzly bear, I'm running, and there's no way I'm going to hang around and sort of be brave and cool and <laughs> make a vlog. <laughs> sort of, hey, man, look at me, I'm brave. No, I'll run, you know, I'll just be honest. So this idea of embracing a grizzly bear seems a bit silly. You know, you, ingra- you, you do that, and um, your fears will end because the bear would have torn you to pieces, not because you would have overcome anything psychologically. So with all these things where they say, you know, these, I wouldn't quite call them cliches, but these quotes that say, hey, the best way to get over your fears is, is through embrace, then there should be an asterisk and, you know, then under certain circumstances and that kind of stuff. So that's my bit on the, on the <laughs> embracing your fears. In the meantime, yes, it is grey, as you see, and we're just looking out over the city. This is Steiker 13. You'll see it a lot um, because it's one of my escape spots, as I may... I'm sure I mentioned that, and if I didn't, it means you forgot, and so you should blame yourselves. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's Central Station, and uh, I'm going to swing around, and you see that pink boat there, which is coming into centre. It's a sort of super Amsterdam, you know, old school Amsterdam boat. I, I don't know if it's that old, but the way it's done up with the frilly bits, um, what I'll do is walk a little closer and so you can get a look. But it's, it's one of those, uh, I don't know, it just makes me think of something from the past that's still managing to exist today. And the people who I see going on are people I don't normally see on a day-to-day basis, not on a personal level, but just the way they're styled, the way they look, the way they, their bodies seem to move. That they, I, it's as if you don't, I don't know where they come from, but they come and get on that boat and they obviously experience something good because they're always smiling when they come off. So that's this um, MS de Jordan. Jordan, for those who don't know, is an area of central Amsterdam and it's now pretty chic, uh, but it's, what, I think, yeah, you always have original people, but I mean, the Jordanese, are, they're sort of super Amsterdamish, if that uh, makes any sense. So, <laughs> super Amsterdamish, whatever that means. Um, so we're just going past, you see the uh, coat of arms of Amsterdam, three crosses there. Uh, no jokes about three crosses Um, so yeah you see what I mean about it looks all the frilly bits and all the decoration the bits in the window the people you're seeing the paintings are I I think one of the guys is Johnny Jordan Uh, um, Andre Haas is the guy on the right I'm sorry to say I recognize the faces I can't tell you who the the artists are but they were important to the culture of Jordan and therefore the culture of Amsterdam so here you see a couple of people who these people are also going onto the boat but anyway I'm going to get to the end of the pier and we can watch the departure of the ferry something that's also very um, calming and uh, 
gives me a lot of, I don't know, peace. I think boats give me peace, just watching boats cruise by. So there we have the ferry, as you see, fully loaded. Oh, wonderful, it's just about to go. So talk about timing, pure coincidence. And as the ferry gets ready to buzz off, I will say, see you next time.